and Hershey is outside the top three. They'll be level on time. Then it will go back to count back of position. Vossar is just trying to sneak through for another one of those attacks. Who's going to cover it? Someone at the outer reaches of the top ten, and they have had a long day out front, and it looked like it might be enough to help them hang on for glory. Maybe the uh, negotiations with Schoenberger went on a little bit long. But, uh, they've been closed down. Closed down, first of all, by Yanis Vossar of the Tudor Pro Cycling Team. Ninth overall, 33 seconds down. Who's going to challenge him? Well, Dina is eighth in this bike race, but not in this group at the moment. This is Balderstone Rumens, who's uh, for the Caja Rural, Rural squad, making a name for himself with this effort. Can he get involved in the hunt for stage honours? Everybody knows there's a really major result here on offer. As finally Tullet attacks. First major attack by Ben Tullet. He puts Hershey under huge pressure yesterday. Monike is equal to that one, but not uh, mindful of going for his own effort. Arancini for the Trek Segafredo squad has also got himself into the mix, but Wassar has arrived up to uh, Lampart and uh, Jasper de Boost, and that could be good news for them, actually. And uh, Lampart's turned himself upside down and inside out to stay on the wheel of Wassar, but he's got the, the, uh, the assistance of the slipstream effect, and it's a slightly easier gradient. That'll be significant. Wassar could be heading towards an important stage success here. Ten seconds on the line. Needs 23 seconds. If he's to take the bike race overall, I think stage race honours uh, would do him, or at least stage honours, as the breakaway riders cry enough, and that's as much as they've got today. Chapeau, and congratulations to uh, last men standing from the break, Jasper de Boust and uh, Yves Lampart, as we turn our attention to Yanni Voissard and his efforts to go for glory today. Stage and maybe even overall success. Oscar Onley on the front. Here comes Bernal again. Bernal going round the outside. And that one has to be covered by the Trek Segafredo squad. Could it be Leapens? Surely not. Oh, Fabro's in the mix. Max Poole is the next to cover. And Boissar, I think, could well have a chance of hanging on for an improbable but wonderful stage success. And they can't afford to uh, dally too much. Give him 23 seconds, could be enough to take the bike race. Bonus seconds for second and third on the line as well, so plenty of calculations to be made. No calculations whatsoever being made by Yanni Vossar. He's just pouring on the goal, trying to survive for victory on stage four of the Tour of Hungary. And now Monike goes to the front to try and preserve his situation on general classification. Human powered health have some skin in the game as well. And that's uh, a great effort to, by Paul Double to get involved here. Wasser is surely clear and home to glory now. He looks around, he gets the message and the signal he wants. They'll be roaring at him in his ear. This will be a huge victory for Tudor Pro Cycling. He's into the uh, finishing few hundred metres at this point. And glory will be his, but he'll ride it all the way to the line for GC. It's a huge success. He's got a zip up the tunic, 200 metres to go. Ride it all the way to the line here, Yanni. You're going to need everything that you can possibly get. But it's going to be stage success for the Tudor Pro Cycling squad. As he raises his arms aloft, he can hardly believe what he's done. But he has taken victory on stage four of the Tour of Hungary. It's victory for Tudor Pro Cycling. It's victory for Switzerland. Will it be overall success as well as Hershey tries to uh, get involved in the hunt 